Montego Bay is known as Jamaica's second city, but it is the island's tourism capital and arguably one of the Caribbean's leading resort destinations. The vibrant seaside city has been the playground of the world's rich and famous, as well as everyday tourists who arrive daily by way of air and sea. Easily accessible, Montego Bay boasts a first-class international airport, as well as modern port visited by many cruise lines. The award-winning Sangsters International Airport is a major hub for the Caribbean, with direct and charter flights from many cities across North America, Europe and South America. The IAM Private Jet Center is also located in Jamaica's second city, complete with a fast-track immigration and custom service, and also provides meeting rooms for business travelers to Jamaica. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button. And remember to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. In this video today, we take a look at the city of Montego Bay in Jamaica and why you should visit. Montego Bay is the Jamaican resort city and it boasts a wide selection of accommodation for visitors to the island, including well-established five-star luxury resorts, newer all-inclusive hotels, intimate bed and breakfast inns and private villas. Transportation is easy to find in the urban center and there is lots of access from other parts of the island as well, including the Knutsford Express, luxury bus service and inter-island flights, and a much array of amenities and attractions, making Montego Bay a vibrant holiday center. Do not try to compare Montego Bay to anywhere else in the world. Enjoy its noisy, lively Caribbean charm as a unique Jamaican experience. The city center still has several cobbled streets framed by last century gingerbread architecture along with sleek modern structures. While the main highway into town and the beyond is a broad landscaped smooth thoroughfare, city streets are crowded, colorful and lively and Jamaicans flock into markets, shops and banks. Guests from hotels and cruise ships make their way to inbound shops and craft markets. Charter buses line the street by the cruise ship pier, waiting to whisk all those disembarking to enjoy and explore all the many tours, activities, and attractions the island has to offer. Sam Sharp Square can be viewed roughly as the city of the town along with the cage, formerly a jail for runaway slaves, and the ruins of the courthouse built in 1804 and destroyed by fire some decades ago. Follow the heritage trails to discover more about the rich and vibrant history of the Jamaican people. On the western side of the harbour, Freeport has been developed on what were once the mangrove swamps of the Bogue Islands. Here are the deep water piers which serve as a cruise port of call and where freight is unloaded. This is also the site of the Montego Bay Free Zone which employs a great number of Montegonians in the manufacture of such as things like t-shirts and sportswear all for export. Jamaica Digiport International, a high-tech telecommunication center, is also at Montego Bay Freeport. Montego Bay was a sugar and banana town, but the sugar factories have closed down and bananas are now shipped out from Kingston and Port Antonio. The visual depicted in so many older paintings of women carrying bananas on their heads and singing the Taliban song while carrying out their back-breaking work is a thing of the past, but the history is still there to be explored in art galleries and the great houses which are plentiful in the area. Montego Bay's original claim to fame as a vacation destination was the renowned White Sand Doctor's Cave Beach, which attracted celebrities and socialites from all over the world. The beach is said to be fed by a healing mineral spring, and it certainly boasts the most uncommonly clear and sparkling water. In recent years, other beach clubs have been developed in the area, each with its own special character. The Aquasal Beach Park is closest to town on Gloucester Avenue. Cornwall Beach is just a little beyond Doctor's Cave, and Tropical Beach and Rosal Beach lie further out of town. The days can be spent here, exploring all the area has to offer both naturally with rivers, waterfalls and the beaches, along with the stamp of Jamaicans over generations from historic sites to playgrounds filled with activities. 
The nights also offer a variety of entertainment, with gaming lounges, the non-stop party at Margaritaville, and fun local bars like Blue Beats and Pier One. Delicious cuisine is everywhere, from staple spots like Pelican Bar and Grill and the Pork Pit on the Ip Strip, to Evelyn's at Dead End Road and Mystic Thai in Winter Village. Montego Bay simply can't all be absorbed in one visit. Like many destinations in the world, each time you return, you'll have the chance to explore more that the city has on its menu and you'll fall deeper under its spell. I am Alex. Until then, bless. Thank you for joining me again guys. I really do hope you found this video interesting. Remember, you can always join the WhatsApp Elite Jamaica group by using the link down below. And remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica by clicking that red subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you never miss any of my updates. I am Alex. Bless.